Well, okay, welcome back. Joe Blasco here for MUA TV's Spotlight on Success. And today we are spotlighting the very successful Premier Products Company. And we've had several Premier Product makeup artists on today. And right now I'm about to introduce you to the very talented and very beautiful Vivian Baker. Vivian, thank you, thank thank you much, so Jeff. much thank for, you for, for being here today. Me. You are so she's so gorgeous on camera. <laughs> she should be in front of the camera, and finally, I'm you're you're, you're able to be in front of the camera with me here. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm looking over. If we may okay. go over your career just oh. just a bit, all right? I hope um, to still be in it. You you have done uh, so many things. I you know I look at Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. One of my graduates, Bill Corso. I uh, worked with Bill. Worked, you worked with Bill. I was his you assistant. You know, the whole that. 10 yards, um, 21 grams, clock stoppers. Um, it goes on and on and on and on. And they Lincoln was shot. Um, and and, and the, the thing that I, I find so amazing about everything that you've done is, is that I, you know, I, I, I've been living like under a rock for a while, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I, I've not been familiar with your name. Uh, and you have done, you're like one of these makeup artists that is like a, you know, we used to call them in my day, ghost makeup artists. I like that. Who actually would come in like and nobody that. would know who they were <laughs> and they've been in the business for a long time <laughs> and other people got all the credit for everything that these people were doing. Oh, I don't know about that. And either. well, no, <laughs> but you've, you, you have, you have, uh, and I'm so pleased to meet you finally. And I'm so, I'm, I can't be more appreciative of Premier Products for being the catalyst in bringing us together. And I do, I know today's show is all about Premier Products, but yes. I do want you to come back and I do want to discuss all of these, these, uh, these shows that you've done. You did Grey Gardens. I did Grey Gardens. I love it. You did uh, Drew Barrymore's makeup, right? I did Drew's makeup, and I was the makeup supervisor. And your friend Bill Corso designed it. Yes, yes. My I'm, friend. And Corso. now you're you're working with Tom Hanks. Yes, you I are? did Charlie Wilson's War. Yes. yes. After Dandy Street Pack, I yes. um, heaven opened up, and all of a sudden it was like Tom called and said, "Hey, you know, you want to do makeup?" And I was like, "Right now, now before <laughs> before we talk about uh, premier products." Uh, Danny Streepeck was Tom Hanks' makeup artist for so many for years. So many years, I know. And and beautiful work, amazing stuff he did. Now, I'm going to tell you something. For Danny to turn over a star like Tom Hanks to someone, he must think an awful lot of you. There must be a great deal of respect going well, on. Well, interestingly, there. I, I met Danny after Tom asked me to do the stuff. I didn't know Danny. I All of a sudden, literally, I met Tom. I was working on Spider Man, and Tom came in to get his hair cut yes. from Emmanuel Miller and yes. met him all. And yes. a few days later, I get this call that Tom said, I'd like for Vivian to do my makeup yes. for Charlie Wilson's War. And I was. Yes. Very strange. So we did Charlie Wilson's work, and it was wonderful collaboration. It was wonderful to work with him. Oh, that's so fantastic. And amazing. And I had the great fortune of talking to Danny yes. prior to taking over. Yes, he'd worked with him for, yes. what, 30 years? Oh, absolutely. You would and want so, to talk right, to Danny. And so, you to talk to him. He was awesome. I, I, I hear, are you going to have him on your show? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, well, oh, I, for, let me, can, can I explain something to the world out there, okay? We were going to have a Thanksgiving dinner show. Oh, cool. It just so happened we had this big Thanksgiving dinner show scheduled. And call after call, we kept getting calls from people saying, sorry, I can't be there. There's a union function going on. <laughs> There's a union function going on. And I thought to myself, what could this union function be that nobody's showing up? I'm, we're throwing this, you know, you, you ever throw a party and nobody came? Well, that's, that's the kind of feeling that we had, right? And I, so I called and I talked to Sue Cabral. And Sue says, oh, we've got this wonderful function. And, and I was in Florida and she says, and, Danny Streetpeck is being honored, and a few others who had been in the business for 50 years. I believe it was Namie as, as oh, well yeah. as, as a representative of the makeup beauty supply industry. And I said to myself, oh, I can't do this dinner, man. I said, this is ridiculous. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not going to infringe on anything that has to do with, with Danny Streetpeck or, or Namie being honored. Right. So I personally, I called Dee Neal, I called Matthew Mungle, you know, I, I made all the calls. I called uh, 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 
everybody, and that was scheduled, and and personally apologized for our not being able to have the dinner. And but I again apologize, but we it, it was canceled for a very very good reason, and we will have uh, a a a I don't know if it may be a Christmas dinner next. We'll see what happens, but uh, yes, Danny Streepak will definitely be invited Excellent. to be a guest well, I'll on be our show. Watching all of it. Yes. Now tell me. Um, how did you become involved with Premier Products? We have all of these fantastic Premier Products here that that uh, Kenny Meyer and uh, Kenny Myers and I have been going through. And uh, t t tell me, what has been your involvement with the Premier Products? I'm a products? makeup artist, and I can't work without them. I mean, that's pretty much where it came from. And I suppose that along the line, I think Kenny and I have been, you know, we've worked together and known each other. Yes. And I just in talking about what I like and what I need and yes. they I can't imagine going anywhere and doing a makeup without them. Yes. There's it's you you need them. There's every I need them in my kit for everything. Yes, yes. Well, of all of the pr the premier products, what is your favorite product? You know, what do you what do you use the most out of all of them? It's hard to say as the range of my work goes from beauty to prosthetic work. Yes. And because of that, it seems that there's going to be a product with each show yes. that gets spotlighted. Okay, let's talk about beauty makeup. Okay. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm called in to do a, uh, uh, an editorial makeup or okay. a, a magazine cover makeup. Mm -hmm. Something over the top, something avant-garde. Right. What am I going to grab from the Premier Products line? Alchemy and grunge. Hello. Right. My favorite, my favorite palette is the Alchemy, Alchemy. and grunge. Uh, I, I, here it is. Grunge. 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 Let's talk about grunge. Let me show you grunge here. If we can uh, go into a nice close-up of, of grunge. Now, what was grunge developed for? Well, it was developed for dirt. For dirt. It was developed for Good dirt. Good And fantastic yeah. for dirt. I love it for eyebrows. For eyebrows. Excellent. Because the little lines stay, they don't get smudgy. Right. You can do a very beautiful avant-garde. You can paint it in and yes. feather it. The yes. colors are fantastic for that. Even on a pale eyebrow. Yes. I mean, I've, I haven't used the green for eyebrows yet. But, oh, but even yeah. on the reds, I mean, you have all these great colors well, that these work for brows. Specifically. All, all of these up here for blondes, for brown, right. uh, for very dark hair. Uh, and for, great for, for men where you want... Right, the subtlety you, of you building in that brow or coloring just the hair on it. Yeah. Exactly. You know what? I had a pro. I still do have a product called Ultimat, which is a. a it, it was a. It was kind of an offshoot of beard stipple. To tell yes. you the truth. Okay. You old timers out there who know what beard stipple. I remember. Ultimate. Uh, and I, I thought to it. myself, hey, well, you know, if you can have a really, really highly pigmented right. makeup that's going to make a little beard stipple, why not increase the pigment even a little more right. and use it for eyeliner or for you make it in many, many different colors of exactly. browns and taupes and use it for eyeshadow or for eyebrows, right? And so that was kind of like the beginning of that sort of thing, high pigment. Now this takes it to the next level. Right. This is lasting. It, exactly. All right. This is lasting. Now I have in my line, and V. Neal has in her line, brushes that are extremely fine brushes. Okay. And what I can see myself doing with this is using this, as you said, for for eyebrows. But in, in being able to take with a very, very fine brush right. and taking the, the pigment and drawing hairline by hairline strokes right. that can either be left as a, a, a stroke. definite stroke right. or can be slightly diluted. By or just touching with a, a Q-tip, with shadow. exactly, mm -hmm. and I think this is brilliant, and right. I and I can't wait to try it. It's you know, because of that shadowing effect, you can take it and make it real diluted, mm -hmm. and give yourself the shading behind it if you wanted to lift an eyebrow up yes. or to shade it, and then yes. then after that dries, you yes. go with a fine brush yes. and draw the hair. Exactly, so you get that's exactly what I do. I'll take a, a, a I'll take a, a V nail or one of my Right. My little wedge brushes. Oh yeah. And uh, and a lighter tone. Well, I'm, I'm used to working with a with an ultimate, but I would take, like, say for instance, this prairie dust right here. It's beautiful. Let's say, right, mix a little of this prairie dust, maybe with a little sand, mix them together, and get a color that would be darker than the skin tone right. if you're working on a Caucasian, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So that you can just put in a feathered, soft outline right. of the brow structure. Exactly. Then. After that dries, you know, mm -hmm. pat it down and blot it. Then you go in 
And you take a little bit of that and you mix it with a little of the darker colors. And with a very, very fine brush, you go in and you draw in the very fine lines to, 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 to simulate actual hair growth. Try it. Now, is this how you... That's you? one of the ways I use it. The other thing is um, you can, especially in men, because women usually, if you're going to do something beauty, you're going to want something um, pushed to their eyelashes. Yes. Is I'll tip men's lashes with that. You can. Close their eyes, get a thing, yes. keep their eyes closed until it dries, but the tipping of that gives a nice stain. Yes. And it doesn't, you don't get the buildup of a mascara. Yes. Or it also doesn't come off under their eyes. Yes. As men, as you well know, will have a tendency through the day to rub those eyes more yes. where a woman can be a little more trained and yes. to not do that. Another thing that would be really terrific, you know, in the old days we used to, and I can say in the old days, in the old days, because I was there, in the <laughs> old days, we would take uh, rue color crayons. Oh, yeah. Okay? And we would darken the sideburns. Oh, yeah. You know, or the hairline. Another right? great place, yeah. This won't rub off. I know. It'll <laughs> coat the hair. It'll do exactly what the rue color crayon used to do, or the pancake, if you even want to go that far back in time. Right. Uh, but this will not rub off. And it won't rub off? Yeah, it's fantastic. Now, this and it started as dirt. It started as dirt. <laughs> There's I don't a lot think that I've start, used it as dirt yet. There's, there's a lot in this business that started as dirt. But we won't go there, will we? Yeah, All we right. hope I'm easy. <laughs> okay, now, let me see. Um, I see uh, other products here. Now, we talked about the glaze. Kenny Myers and I, we went on and on, and we talked about this, this glazing gel. The glazing gels are and phenomenal. And I, I, see a, I see these being used for so many different things. And we're going to begin experimenting with them. Right. But I, you know, and like for instance, this is a peach. I see a peach. Is there a peach? peach. Is this, That's rust, this is, I believe. This is rust. Right. I, but I, there is I, a I peach can, blusher in there. Right. I, I, I can see this as he mentioned. Yeah, there you go, peach blush. I can see this being used. I mean, couldn't you take this and use this as a like, as a preliminary makeup? And for instance, oh, yeah. if you could put the cheek cut, use this as a cheek color Absolutely. first, mm -hmm. and once it sets, then if you're using a liquid makeup, go yep. over it with a liquid makeup exactly. and buff it down in those areas right. and allow this peach color to come through. Exactly. So it looks like it's really coming from within the skin. And for film HD, the broadcast of that and the film of how that's incredible because you don't get a build up of textures. That's right. You don't see powder. You don't right. see, it, it, there's not a layer there. This is actually coming through. It has a transparency and it, because of that the light can travel through right. through the liquid foundation, providing it's the right. correct kind of liquid foundation which I think Premier Products may be coming up with next. <laughs> and and um, uh, I just, I just think that but, this is the next, this is the and, next stage in you know, natural stays, period makeup. Let me tell you, this is interesting enough. I did, I began testing this on a film, I guess this spring, early spring, and I was amazed because all the products I was using was Illustrator, right. um, the alcohol, and the gels, mm -hmm. and the gels had to stay powers because we weren't allowed to go into the set. They would film all day, and no one was allowed in the set. Right. So we could only do our touch-ups outside of it. Yes. So it was a little hot. And it was a little greasy, and I was concerned which one would do. So I, I, I layered the makeup so that if one came off, the other would stay. Yes. Because we were, they had to be very real. None of these had base on. None of them were beauty makeups at all. They were all heavy character makeups. Yes. And it was interesting because the gels stayed with all the grease and oil coming from their faces. Right. Those gels weren't moved. They by didn't it. move. And yeah. those gels would hold. It was amazing. Now what they show held, is this? It was a show that's not out yet. V. Neal was department heading. It's Terrific. called The Soloist. The Soloist. Fantastic. Yeah. We're going to have V on again. She's been on a couple times, and uh, we'll have to talk to her about The Soloist and, right. and her use of Premier products on that show. Well, one thing I'd like to mention, and all these, I think Complexion Kit is one of my favorite colors be, my, because of all, all the reds in there, and I use reds a lot in my work. But I have to say, Kenny Myers is a color genius. Yes. I mean, when you really begin to work with his stuff, it looks like a lot of great colors, but once you go beyond the initial part and yes. you realize what it's put in there, yes. there is so much. I could spend the rest of my career yes. finding things that he's already put in those palettes yes. Yes. that in his genius of understanding yes. color, like yes. yourself yes. and the light 
line that you with all of you know all, all the colors that you have. I, you know, there's so much in there. You just keep learning. Right. I started with. I started when I started my line. I had over a thousand colors in the line. I could understand and that. And they and they went, what is you can't have up a thousand with colors. this guy? You know, <laughs> but there was a reason for every one of them. Exactly. And and because Kenny is such an expert at color, this is why the, a genius. This is why, uh, you know, these are so well accepted and so well received by other geniuses exactly. in, the, in the industry. You know, uh, you, you, in order to understand something. Um, to, you, you have to have the, that same level of experience, so to speak. So uh, I would think that those that are out there in the industry that have been around for a while right. are really recognizing the, the, the reason why these colors are as they are right. and are able, because of that, to, to, to work more quickly. And But on the other hand, those of you out there that are new in the, in the business, you know, here's your great opportunity to have all of that experience just whittled right down into a container for you so that you're able to, to, to just work right with it and not have to experiment and experiment right. and experiment as most of us had to when we were coming up. So uh, again, again, uh, a fabulous line of products. Now, how long have you been, uh, uh, you, you're going to do a demo today for I'm us, I'm gonna right? do a demo for, oh, yes. Okay, now, now have you been at the trade shows for Premier Products? Well, I, have, I haven't been to the last two trade shows. I actually haven't been to the last two trade shows either because I was working both, uh, I think both years I was out of the country. So I haven't been and I feel like, you know, it's a big thing. I love the trade shows and I yes. miss them, but I, I've been to all that I was capable of getting to. Yes. Um, but I haven't been and I've not done a demo. I've talked about it. There's something that I would love to do. Yes. I'll keep that a secret. Um, and it just is, you know, if the film is there and they've been some nice movies for me to do, yes. they've taken a little precedent over this because yes. it's such good opportunities for yes. me. Now, out of everything that you've done, all of the films that you've worked mm -hmm. um, using Premier Product, right. of those projects, what character or what makeup do you do? You, are you the, the most proud of or that which you look back upon and say, I really enjoyed doing that makeup? Oh man, that, you know, again, those are really, really tough questions. Well, it'd be hard to say I have a few films that are coming out, which I used Illustrator a lot for some of the gels and the glazes that Kenny has mentioned. And until I see them on the screen myself, I'll, I'll reframe from okay. chatting about them. Okay, she's teasing, <laughs> she's teasing us. Because now. I do want to see them, but, but there are some great characters, which Illustrator could, we could not have done it without it. Yes. Um, literally, it wouldn't have been able to be done. And I think we'll begin to see that as those films come out. Now, do you, do you find yourself um, gravitating these days now because you have a tremendous amount of experience? Are you finding yourself gravitating more toward working with appliance makeup, with prosthetic makeup? I've, you know what, I, interestingly enough, I've always done a little bit of appliance makeup, and mostly out of necessity. You know, you caught me as a ghost makeup artist, exactly it. I came up not knowing anyone, not knowing any, you know, anything, and I literally would get a film and they would go, you need to do this, and I figured it out. Right. Reading books, looking right. at stuff, getting information, buying. Yeah. I mean, I lived in Georgia. I would get, <laughs> I'd call Namies and buy everything. I had almost every one of your products by going, what's that? Give it to me. And yes. they would send it to yes. me, and I learned how to do it. So I've done prosthetics for a long time, yes. but I've never considered myself a prosthetic makeup artist when yes. I stand in the company of Kenny Myers and yes. and V and Bill Corso I yes. certainly don't consider myself a prosthetic artist yes. although I do a lot of it so you've been in the business a tremendous amount of time mm -hmm. you do not consider yourself really to be a prosthetics makeup artist however right all right mm -hmm. you work so much with this I don't think really honestly that there is anything that you couldn't do if you were asked to do it, right. especially if you're working with Premier. If Premier has brought you in here today, you're here for a reason, and that's because you're good. All right, now, what are you gonna do for us today? Well, today, the point is, is to show how Illustrator can be used for beauty stuff. There's a great application for it yes. in beauty, and one that's needed for the translucency of the gels, the stay power of the liquids, yes. of the um, alcohol ones, and in the liquids in an airbrush form. Yes. That yes. as a department head artist, when I'm, I want the people who work for me to know how to use it. There are times I use the complexion palette 
for lip liner because we sometimes will have people whose lips will bleed yes. and you can't stop it and it's a good way to stop it. Yes. And the gels as well, you can use yes. it. So it's always necessary to know how to do it in beauty. And I think Illustrator has always been known to be more in the prosthetic world, yes. but there's a whole realm of it to change and to be, and be able to be used in beauty. You know what I would love for you to do, Vivian? I would really love for you to do uh, a beauty makeup for us using as many of the premier products as possible. Not necessarily today, because I know that you, you have, she's already prepared something really wonderful for us. But uh, I, 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 I want to have a personal interview with you to really delve into your career much more in depth and, and, and to, to find out who you are, huh? how you got into the business. I like being a ghost. You know, you're not going to be a ghost <laughs> makeup artist anymore. Not, the whole world is out there. <laughs> the whole world knows who you are now, my dear. And, and uh, so if you could do that and, and do uh, uh, some, I have a feeling that your beauty makeups are just really exquisite and I'd love to see you work. And I'd like to see you in, incorporate along with conventional makeup products, the, the makeup products from the Premier line that are also able to be considered conventional for today's more advanced way of working. Right. All right? Okay. And we'll, Love will, you, will you do that for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. All right, terrific. I'll tell you what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna break for just one second, all right? Okay. And we'll talk some more right after these words. So don't you go away, because we're gonna be right back.